All right, K-State Online here with K-State commit, 2020 commit, Siri Lewis out of Chicago. He did play prep basketball in Arizona last year for Compass Prep School, but he joins us today. Thanks for joining us today, Siri. No problem, no problem. Uh, we've been doing this with, you know, uh, a lot of the signees and commits in the class. Still have a few more to get through, but uh, this is our first time being able to see you in person, talk to you in person. So first, just tell me a little bit about yourself. I, you're from Chicago. Um, talk about growing up there, playing basketball, and just, you know, your, your journey uh, through life with basketball. Uh, well, yeah, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I was born and raised here. Um, Chicago basketball is always known to be tough. We got a lot of great people to come from Chicago. Um, high school basketball is really good. We got one of the best high school basketball conferences in the country. So it was growing up playing in that throughout the developing years. Like, it was really good and helped me become the player I am today. Senior year, I decided to move to Arizona um, for a prep year to develop me more physically, athletically, and just me preparing and give me an extra year to prepare for college. Mm -hmm. so I was like living away from my parents try to survive on my own, which really helped me and gonna make me prepare for college. So I did that, which was a great move. I had a good time, played the top competition in the country as well. And yeah, it could just get better. No doubt, no doubt. So I guess, yeah, you're in Chicago right now. What is what has quarantine life been like for you with this uh, COVID-19 stuff? Quarantine been real tough in Chicago. So I only can do so much. I know I bought a basketball round. Um, been training outside, doing as much training as I can, but we the second hot spot after New York. So mm -hmm. our quarantine is very strict. So like, you can't be outside. You have to go outside. If you go outside, you have to wear a mask. Like you automatically get fined if you don't wear a mask. Store yeah. be not open, like it's bad. So just trying to stay safe and stay healthy. So when's the last time you left the house? <laughs> mm -hmm. Like a week ago? Yeah. <laughs> Walks and go running, but like leaving out the house, going to other places with other people about a week ago. Okay. Yep. So uh, growing up in Chicago, obviously your your, your new teammate at K State, Dejuan Gordon, did as well. Talk about your relationship with him. Oh, uh, we have a real good relationship. So we always been in Chicago basketball circle growing up. Um, me and him played against each other when we was in high school. We had high school rivalries. Um, just watching him develop and grow to the player he is today has been um, terrific to see and. Yeah. Him just telling me how he got better at K State, how he loved Coach Weber, the coaching staff, the fans, uh, just made me want to be a part of that even more. Me trusting him, was growing with each other, um, it meant a lot. So, yeah. Any other guys that you're connecting with on the team, you know, before you guys uh, actually get together? I talk to Antonio Gordon a lot, Martavius, um, all the freshmen. We all talk a lot. We got like a group chat. We play the game with each other. So, it's already feel like a family before we even on campus. I think this is the perfect time to be bonding with this quarantine going on. So once you get on campus, everything will be clicking. Yes, sir. So uh, I guess my next question is, um, what do you think of the, the K-State staff, Coach Weber, Coach Lowry, um, Coach Henderson, and then uh, the newest addition, Coach Shane Southwell? Have you gotten to meet all of them? I know, obviously, Coach Weber. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, I met every coach. Um, coach Barry Corn was my recruiting coach. Yep. You know, I was still talking to, like, some of the other coaches as well, but he was my recruiting coach, and once he left, I even got closer with all the other coaches. They check in with me every other day. We send each other, like, certain tweets, basketball clips, talk about, like, the past documentary about Michael Jordan. I can't, we always talking, so we always stay connected. I appreciate all of them. I can't wait for them to train and coach me. Yeah, what you think of that, uh, that documentary? I think it's good. Even though LeBron is my favorite player, he's my GOAT, I mean, just – Seeing somebody else to be another GOAT, as people say, was good. Uh -huh. just, I mean, I, I wear his shoes and his clothes all the time, but yeah. my favorite. I saw Luke tweet about that. He was nonstop about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, nope, LeBron's the GOAT. That's just changed my mind. But, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's fun stuff. So talk about talk about your game. You know, what, what, what do you like to do on the floor? What are you best at? And also talk about your weaknesses. All right, so I'm an athletic forward. Um, I'm going to play the four. I played a five, too. Me growing up, all the schools I've been going to, I was playing a five because I was always either one of the biggest or one of the strongest players on the team. 
but I'm truly a four. Uh, I'm very good in the mid range. Um, I'm very good down low. I can finish well through contact. I can rebound at a high level. Um, I'm athletic. I can play defense. Some of my weaknesses are, I would say, dribbling. Like me, I can come up the court, like dribble to half court, make a pass, but me coming down, making a play, um, I feel like I need to develop that. Uh, threes consistently, shooting threes consistently and making them consistently is another part I could develop. Uh, and I feel like me going to Kansas State, I'll be able to do that. And once I put all of that together and perfect it, I'll be the best four slash three um, I could be. For sure, for sure. So what is it like coming in? Just a few more questions. What's it like coming in, you know, with this big of a class, uh, this many newcomers? Um, it, it, it must be, you know, it's a different kind of feel when you got this many new guys coming into a squad. Yeah, it is a different feel, but when you have some of the guys that was there last year just telling us what to do and how to be prepared, um, there's really no worries. So it's I think it's seven of us. Yeah, seven seven right now. I think it's eight. Eight new yeah. well, I guess seven of you guys in the class, but I guess I count Casey Eziagu as that, you know, yeah, the main transfer. Yeah, so, you know, so, so really seven of us new coming to on campus. Mm -hmm. Going coach Weber, coach how coach Weber, coach going through all of that, and with Peoria's players just talking about what I could do to be the best that I could be at that, um, really gives me no worry. So as long as I listen and do what I have to do, I should be fine. Same with the other individuals. For sure. All right, man. I mean, K State's excited about you and the rest of the class. Is there anything you want to say to them before we sign off? Uh. I think I appreciate all the fans that reach out to me, comment on my Twitter, Instagram. I can't wait to turn Brad much up. That's right. That's right. Uh, that was Siri Lewis, 2020, 2020 commit for the K-State class, coming in with a bunch of guys. Thank you for the time, Siri, and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right, man? Thank you.